gunner. Golly, move my cart out of the way. Uh, come over here to the truck and uh, drill bit. Alrighty, got our drill and got our container and drill bits. Hang this down the old jeans. Yes, Gunner, I know. All right, project today is, um, we're putting an LED light bar on a lawnmower. I know, Gunner. All right, uh, I don't have the wire strippers right now. All right, I already have that all set up. Um, oh. All right, I already, uh, I already took the hood off. These two connectors, they connect together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it, cut it somewhere in here. And we're going to attach this LED light bar on the front of it. Really bright, bright, I already plugged into there, so I know it should work. It comes with this adapter too, got this from Harbor Freight. Plug it in the right way. So. This will be mounted up here. You know, somewhere on the, you know, the front metal bumper. And wherever I cut it, I cut it, splice it together. I mean, I really almost, I really almost could. Yeah. Hmm. So, we're gonna, first of all, we are going to just completely take this hood off, move it out of our way, take this. Okay. First of all, what I need to do is I need to take a picture of this wire. I need to figure out how I need to set it up. Make sure those lights will turn on. Right. Now, I'll see if I flip it around. Just want to see. See if I flip it around, will it still work? I won't even clip into there. Okay. Hmm. So. That's how I want it. All right. Now. Well, first of all, let's turn the key off. Take it out of it. Turn the light switch off. Take that out. All right, so our hood, our hood is off. I'm just gonna move this. It's a lot heavier than you think it is. Bracket out. First of all, I'm gonna find the right drill bit for it.
All right. That's not much bigger, but we still want to make sure we don't drill it too big. And find a nut. And make sure this does screw on there so it's the right thread. I might want to go one smaller than what I have. Make sure. Hmm. Seems like that'd be good to me. Maybe. Want that on there, actually. So the white counts on. I'd want to go through here and tighten. Alrighty. You can about find the center. Mm -hmm. Looks like it might be good. Make sure we don't hit anything. What is this? I'm not sure. Let's go get a tape measure. Five and a quarter. Hmm. Our assembly stuff. So, it's gonna want to come out. Okay. Be like this. Brought up the big guns. So that should go in there. And, oh, I should rephrase that. It will go in there. Now what I like about this is if I want it to be this side and I didn't measure right, I can move it. I wanted it to be this side. It wasn't right, but just do about right there.
gotta let her where it'll stay. Half inch wrench is too big to get in there. Hold it.
All right, it's mounted. That only took 46 minutes. All right, it's mounted. It's not going anywhere. Now I need to decide um, how I want to run this. I have it to work, go down, could probably wrap right through there. I could drill a little hole for a zip tie. Zip tie it, or I could do that. And, well, the hood's got to go there, though. So, I think it go underneath. This uh, lawnmower's battery is kind of weak, so I just hope hopefully it'll start.
Ah, I thought I could, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, everybody. I spliced, ended up just taking the rest of the wire from, that was wired to these lights, because I won't be using them because they suck, and spliced them all together. I did, there's two wires, I spliced them to what was right, and then I wrapped, wrapped those, and once they were all good, I wrapped everything. Got this little zip tie, things holding on. Now, I know, the, I know the result. Well, heck, you can already see. Look at that. Wow, let's start this thing up before the battery dies. thing about it too is this this light was only supposed to shine 252 feet this light also has that same plug-and-play system it's brighter and it can shine 617 feet so if I don't think this lights bright enough which I know it's going to be and I can always swap it out. Or if this one ever stops working, I got another white light to swap it out with. I'm hoping this has enough power to keep that running, but it's it's idling and it doesn't sound like it's having a problem, so. I'll get some uh, film at night. All right. I wouldn't be surprised. I just started this thing up, forgot to grab my camera. I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't start up. I really hope it does. But you guys are gonna have to see how bright these lights are. They're really bright. but I can see about 200 feet in front of me. That's about what this thing's rated for. I'd wonder what the 600 foot one would do. Also, uh, what I like about it is um, it doesn't ever dim. It won't. It won't dim at all. It's it's really bright. So I, it's at idle right now, and it's at its brightest capacity. I can't even look at it. It hurts my eyes to look at. It's almost too overpowering. <laughs> kind of wish I could have put it on my four wheeler. We got another one for my four-wheeler that might work. But, uh, yeah. I guess that's the end of this project. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and bell post notifications. Comment down below. I guess do whatever you want. I'm nothing stopping ya. But uh, we'll catch you guys next time on Wade Farms.